place is falling apart. What can I tell you, Mr. Manus? You tell me it won't happen again. Until we know what's causing it, I can't keep it from happening. You got a bad solenoid valve. Replace it. It's the second one this week. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Can you do a diagnostic check on the conduit? It's not the conduit. They're failing from input overload. Go to the truck. Get the backup pump, okay? Make sure it's going to replace the number three in the south field. Yes, sir. Go. I don't have to tell you that every time we go down, the red flags fly up all over corporate. I'm surprised they haven't sent somebody already. And we don't need that. I understand. Do you? I mean, do you? Because our little shipment is still in lower level three in a compressor room because you can't get confirmation from your clients to let us know when they're going to help us move it. As long as it sits there, I told you. I can only speak with them when they will speak with me. Now, they've agreed to the terms of your deal. They said it will happen. You just don't pick up the phone and call these kinds of men. We're running out of time. I mean, if anybody else shows up. Get me confirmation that they're gonna help us move the shipment no later than Friday. And let's not go down again. Neither of us need more company. Oh, great. Great. Mr. Manis? What is it? The number three pump in the south field has completely failed. We need to shut down no. that sector quickly. No! Don't do anything till I get there. God, does anything work in this place? Come on, let's go. Have him finish this.
You're gonna get your head shot off someday. Well, today is not that day, my friend. Well, Colin is not a man to be messing with. You know, that half-breed is not right in the head. I got it under control, Timmer. Well, I told you not to get involved with him. No, whoa, 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 that? That's a tiny misunderstanding. It's a non-event. That's not even an issue, really. <laughs> Colin's misunderstanding usually end up buried out here, my friend. Well, there's not a hole out here for me. There's not a plot of land for me, not Daniel. When are you going to give up chasing myths? Come on, buddy. These aren't myths. They're clues. <laughs> OK. <laughs> clues. They are. There's a fortune out here. You know it, Timmer. You know it. And every day, I'm getting closer, and I'm getting closer. You've been saying that for years. No, this is different. I can feel it in my bones. It's tangible. I can taste it. It is here. I know it's here. You know, Carlin is going to catch up to you one of these days, and when he does, the only thing you're going to feel in your bones is the end of his blood. No, no, it's not, not going to happen. That's it's not going to happen. This is different. I got solid leads this time. Tim, I just need time. OK, and when you find your fortune, you'll be reporting it to the authorities, right? Of course. You know, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Tim, as far as I'm concerned, you are the authorities. What you do with your share, it's up to you, buddy. You know what? You look like you could use a meal. Come by tonight, have some barbecue. Yeah, just kind of short on funds right now, you know? <laughs> wow, that's a big surprise. <laughs> hey, it's on me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I'm running up quite the tab with you, aren't I, Tim? Well, you can pay me when you find your treasure. That's a spirit. <laughs> See, I love that attitude. Well, well I hear you're close. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. What's that about? I've got half of one village trying to kill the other half of another village over a goat. I've got to go before it gets bloody. See you, partner. Must be a hell of a goat. We need more medicine. I know, I know, I know. They're coming, I promise. What, what is she saying? Who's it's, coming? It's just a myth. She thinks sickness is because of death worm. Death what? Death worm is, is a legend of this land. Hello? Hello? Hello, Alicia. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello? Anything? Static. What about you? How are you doing? Uh, best I can tell, it's uh, something with the uh, the engine. Can you fix it? Uh, not unless you have another engine. It just gets better and better. I'm calling Central Unit again. <sighs> Hello? No, I said Sepagal. I can't stress how dire this situation is. I mean, we'll try to get there, but... Hello? Hello? What'd they say? All the air resources are tied up. We're the closest ones to Sepagal, and we need to try to get there somehow. Great. Yeah. I'm going to try to call Steffi again, but this interference seems to be getting worse. Mr. Mattis, care for that stuff. So, what'd you find out? Someone will contact us tomorrow. It's always tomorrow with these guys. You know, maybe we should get somebody else. Maybe just... We're not dealing with an overnight shipping company. 
These kinds of people work the way they work. No questions. Now they will come through, but there is no one else. Oh, well, these guys are gonna give me an ulcer. Sir. Go. I'm out intro for work this morning. His vehicle's still out here in the west sector. None of his work was completed last night. I think there's something else you should see out here, sir. Right away. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. In a matter of days, this place will be swarming with suits. Everything, everything will be gone. Do you understand me? Sir. I'm coming. This looks promising. Looks like the local authorities. Ma'am? Car trouble? Yeah. I'm Dr. Alicia Brewer. We're with Doctors of Hope, and we are in desperate need of transportation to Sepagal. Sepagal. Opposite direction. Sorry, ma'am. I have an emergency I must go to. I know, but we have an emergency too. Okay, people are dying out there without our medicine. We, we can't wait. Hold that thought, lady. Long time no see. Field trip? They say, uh, the doctors, their vehicles broke down and they need a ride to Sepagal. Oh, whoa, 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 Timber, come on. You know I don't have time for a detour. Don't do this to me. Look, Daniel, I must attend to my call. But my guess is that they may have some money for a lift. I can't do this. I'm sitting on a solid lead, Timmer. Come on. I gotta get that translated ASAP. You owe a lot of people right now. And, it, and it's not in the back line. All right? Yeah. Now, I've got to go. I know, I know, the, the goat thing, right? Thanks for your help, Daniel. All right? Yeah. You're real life safer. He's gonna help you out. Great. Thank you. Ma'am. Hey, did the officer tell you what my situation is? How much? Is? Excuse me? Money for the ride, how much? I take US dollars, euros, gold, I even take Tuckrick. What I don't do is give free rides, sorry. Okay, Doctors of Hope is a non-profit organization. Well, Daniel's taxi's not. Sorry, sister. Okay, I'm not your sister. I'm a doctor, and there's an outbreak in a nearby village, and people are dying. Well, then maybe you should hope for another ride to come by. <laughs> wow. How much? I mean, how much is it gonna cost us to go save lives? What, what does a good deed go for these days? Well, how much you got? What is it like to be completely self-absorbed? What? To have no conscience, whoa, whoa, no whoa, whoa, thought Just of... let me stop you right there. You're gonna try to sweet talk me out of this. It's not gonna happen, okay? Just stop. <laughs> I'll wait. We need money. I don't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. Yeah, well, neither do I, but we need a ride. So how much have you got? I think I got a couple hundred. Who is he? I don't know, some greedy loser American expat. You know, our choices are slim when the local authorities hand us over to this loser. Well, this is robbery! Just relax, we need a ride, and he obviously needs the money. But from the look of him, I'd say this is probably enough. Got your money. How much? 300. Come on, please. It's all we have. Okay, I'll get you more when we get there. Double. So this, this, this outbreak, is it contagious? Only if you drink the water, which I pray to God you do. Do we have a deal? Daniel's taxi at your service. Go get Junior. Gee, thanks. Huh. Where could he have gone? What are you looking at? This could be a warning. Warning for what? 
Someone who knows about the shipment knows what we found down there? That's ridiculous. Is it? Yes. If you don't know this place like I do. I know I got a pump down. Where the hell is the rest of your guys in your department? Word spreads. What? The men go missing, sir. Word spreads. So let me get this straight. One guy goes missing, and no one shows up for work. Many are superstitious. This land has many, many tales. <laughs> oh, do tell then, please. What story's good enough to lose your job over? Hey, go The Mongolian death worm. It's true. The others believe we've awoken them with all our <laughs> drilling. <laughs> OK, guys, nothing is happening here, nothing. He's just a no-show, just like everyone else, right? Right. OK. Who's that? That is a big damn problem. You get this pump up at any cost, you understand me? And bring up the rest of the boxes from the lower sector. And lock up our ship before I got to drag him through this whole place. Yes, sir. I warned you about this. Last two pellets are out. Can, can you hear me? Who's there? So, how long have you been playing Florence Nightingale? I think right now it'd be best if we didn't speak. <laughs> Suit yourself, Doc. Long drive, no tunes. I used to have a CD player, you know, but... Stolen? Nah, sold it. Awesome. So, how long before we get there? It's gonna be a few hours, buddy. So you might wanna stretch out, lay your little head down, get some sleep. Okay, I'm thinking smuggler, gunrunner. You are good, aren't you? Which one? Middle of both, actually. Hey, we're gonna die. You're not asleep yet? Oh, but why? So I can be left for dead in the desert? No clothes, no money? Well, you have more money on you? Guys, please. Just because I accepted payment for this little excursion doesn't make me a thief, all right? Right, but extorting money from a charity organization doesn't exactly make you a saint, either. You know, I can comfortably say that I fall somewhere in the middle. Uh, closer to a thief. Ah, uh, whatever. Money or no money, I'll tell you one thing. I'm saving both of your hides right now. See, now that's the difference between you and us. We don't actually care about our hides, but there's an entire village of people out there dying from a disease. Those are the hides you're gonna be saving. There's a lot more differences between us than that, but yeah, I see your point. Hey, uh, what's that? What's what? Ah, uh, that. Ah, it's, it's nothing. Actually, it's something. Okay, don't touch that. What is it? Not yours, that's what it is. That you can touch. Enjoy yourself. What are you doing out here, Daniel? Research. Important research. <laughs> really? What kind of research? Important scientific research. That more comprehensive for you? My guess? You're either looking for something or running from something. Which one would that be? You know, for somebody that doesn't like to talk, I'm sure are doing a lot of it. Touchy subject. 300 was for the ride. If you want the life story, it's gonna cost you extra. Well, my guess it ain't worth that much. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm 
fine. Just give me a minute. I just don't understand how an outbreak this severe can happen this fast. I mean, there's never been a history of this here. Steffi. There's been history before. It's a sickness. It's just like this one. A long time ago. It's part of our history. What are you talking about? Steffi. He's connected to death from... Oh, no, no, not no. that story. I thought you were gonna tell no, me something no, no. useful. Steffi, please, please. Look, let me explain something to you, Manus. See, what we do here is we pump thousands of gallons of superheated water down the shaft wells. Yes, sir. That I... superheated water cuts through the permafrost, as you know, and when it hits the shale, it creates slurry. We then refine the slurry, we extract the crude oil, and we stick it in millions and millions and millions of barrels. It's how we make a lot of money. Sir, yes, I'm aware It's of true. I mean, that's what keeps the authorities happy. It's what keeps corporate happy. It's what keeps us in business. You see where I'm going with this next? Yes, sir, I do, but I, I really would appreciate if you didn't talk to me as a school child because I know how operations work because I'm in charge. Yes, that's right. That's right. You are in charge, and uh, it's not working, is it? You see, when the pumps come offline, it makes it very difficult for us to make money. It makes it extremely hard to pay your fat salary. You get my point? Yes, sir. Good. I got your point when you pulled up. Good. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Well, my workers keep disappearing daily. And the solenoids are, are frying because you got some kind of electrical interference. Look, why don't you just prove us wrong? Prove everybody wrong. Hire more workers, right? It's not brain surgery. Oh, well, yes, it is, because there's some kind of myth, all right? The workers that we have on payroll I can't even keep, much less keeping people on the sidelines ready to work. I don't understand. What, what do you mean, a myth? It, it's a worm myth. I'm sorry, did you a just worm, say worms? Yes. Worm? We're going in death worm. Death worm? Yes, I know. Go. We just lost another pump in the south field. You didn't lose a pump. You've just got soft earth. When Jackson gets here, I'll have him check his contacts. What is that? Nothing good. Oh, this can't be our luck. It's gonna, it's gonna have to cool down for a while, all right? When can we get moving again? Like I said, the engine has to cool down for a bit. Besides, it's getting dark. We should set up camp and just head out in the morning. <laughs> no. No, we need to get to Sepagal. Okay, we should get moving as soon as you can get this piece of crap started. I think I already said this engine's not gonna start anytime soon. Besides, these roads aren't safe to travel on at night. They're just not. We're not scared of a few potholes. No one's afraid of potholes, lady. It's the black market types that move their goods on these roads at night. You come into contact with one of them, they'd sort of shoot you, then talk to you. Well, I'd rather we take our chances. Every second that we wait, another person could be dying. This is not up for debate, all right? Phil, little help. Don't bring him into this. I'm not bringing him into anything. I'm not going to be held responsible for a dead doctor, even if she is crazy. Much less... Two dead doctors! Uh, he's, uh, he's right, Alicia. It wouldn't help anyone if we didn't get there at all. I'm just saying. Phil, dog. A little help on the hood there, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's great. All right, let's get this off the road and out of sight. Uh, come on, push. How many times has that happened? I mean, has it happened before? I don't know, a couple of times. A couple of times? Like, come here, come here. You mind telling me what's been going on out here for the last four months? Are you listening to me? Pay yeah, attention. Yeah, I am. You have a major geological failure right underneath your feet. You realize that? So maybe it destabilized the, the bedrock. I don't know. Well, maybe it's your worms. Maybe it is the worms. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to suggest you do the same so you don't become more worthless than you already are. You read me? I read it. 
Is that them? Did it happen? Did you make a deal? They think it's a setup. They don't trust us. Are you kidding me? No, they need proof that we have what we say we have. Manus, let's go. All right, look, give them this. I'm coming. So, um, sorry about earlier. I know you were just looking out for our safety. You don't have to apologize to me. Uh, maybe I'm the one that should be apologizing to you, you know? I didn't get you to supper, girl. Maybe I should give you a refund. <laughs> a discount, maybe. You know, you guys should probably get a couple hours of sleep if you can. Are you kidding? We're doctors, we don't need sleep. I'm really beginning to admire your determination. You know that? You're the one who's been wandering around, God knows where, searching for your dream. Okay, enough with the mutual admiration stuff. <laughs> so, what is that thing anyway? Ah, just a basic EMF meter. It measures fluctuation in the electronic field. Why is that important? It's important because this little gadget's gonna help me find that dream. So is, is it like a metal detector? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So what about you? You tell me there's no need for a doctor in the town you're from? A lot of doctors in Michigan. It's easy. Most people aren't willing to travel halfway around the world to treat cholera. I guess I see your point. Hey, we're saved. Hide that phone, we're gonna need it. Seriously, dude, really? Daniel, you have new partner. We're not partners. He's just giving us a ride. Woman, you shut up! Okay, let's relax, all right? Nobody needs to get hurt here. Let's just try to be a little calm. Callan think you're trying to trick him. You know, you have found something and you want to know what it is. I haven't found anything. He's wrong. Just go tell him that he's wrong. Then you can tell him that yourself, in person. Get them. Just camping here. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax, relax. Easy. How you doing, Callan? It's good to see you again. <laughs> ah! Why would you do that? Nice to see you too. These are your new investors? No, 
Callan, they're medical doctors, man. They're on a mercy mission to Sepagal. They have nothing to do with this. Just, just, just let them go. We just need a transportation. Uh, <laughs> speak when spoken to. You know something? What are you hiding from me? All right, listen to me, buddy. I found an artifact, and it's clearly got an engraving of the worm. Con symbol, and... And I think if I concentrate my search, I think I'm gonna find it. Huh. There has been an earthquake up near the oil plant, and locals have said they've seen the worm. That's exactly what I'm saying. I think I'm close, and I think they're there. Okay, you guys are talking about treasure and worms, and people are dying! <sighs> Just... You will not speak, woman, unless you're spoken to. <laughs> Try it again, and I'll cut your tongue out for the buzzards to eat. <laughs> okay, Callan, Callan, Callan. I said she has nothing to do with this. She doesn't know anything at all. Okay. <clears throat> ah, dude! Come on! Tie them up. Daniel and I will have a conversation. Okay. 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 Ah, okay. a.m. to make all of my calls, and I got nothing but an ear full of static. Again, so we're behind months now. And I was under the impression, correct me if I'm wrong, that the geologicals on this location had been done before they started their renovation. They are. They are. They're already in my office, already signed off by corporate, and already signed off by Mongolian authorities. Well, then why are they failing? Why? I'm not sure, but again, we could go to my office and look at the schematics and... No, 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 no. I want to see the substructures myself. Sir, I can't allow you to do that. You don't have the proper safety clearance to go down there. What are you talking about? I got my hard hat. I'm good. And it is this way, right? Sir, I, sir, listen, listen, Mr. Bixler, I'm no. responsible for you and your safety no, no. while you're down here. No, no, I no. must insist that we go back and review the reports back in the... Sir! <laughs> Mess, what is your major malfunction? Do, do you realize the problems this is going to cause back home? You realize I may have to shut you down till I can figure out what we're gonna do? I gotta bring the corporate guys down here to do it. Nobody's gonna like the sound of that. Have you thought of that? Sir, I can't let you do that. Mr. Bixler! Uh, the hits just keep on coming. Yes. There's a phone call for you from America. They finally got through. Well, hallelujah. Lead on. Right this way, sir. Oh, Mr. Jackson's flight has been delayed, but they said he would be here by this afternoon. That boy is so jumpy, we need to change his name to Trampoline. Mm. Daniel. 
We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No, we're not. They're going to torture us. <sighs> no, they're not. I'm not cut out for this kind of thing. No, you're not. Okay, all right, all right. Ow! God. You okay? I've been better. Are they going to kill us? I don't know, buddy, all right? I just know that we gotta get out of here. You, you don't know, huh? Well, let me tell you something. They're sure gonna kill you if you don't give them what they want. But you're just a con artist, aren't you, huh? I'm just a thief, just like we thought. Philip, you're not helping. You know, you could have at least mentioned that you had a, a, a what was it? A, oh yeah, a, a bounty on your head? Philip! What is it that everyone's looking for out here? It's Genghis Khan's tomb. Are you serious? Yeah. What's the deal with Creepy Guy? We have an arrangement, all right? He loans me money when I need it, and I give him a piece of my find. So why the hostility? He's losing patience, all right? Plus, he doesn't want me to have any more accomplices. What's with those worms? They're Mongolian death worms. They're mythical guardians of Genghis Khan's tomb. Mythical? But he said that the locals saw them. Oh, they did. I've seen them too with my own eyes. And I'll tell you one thing, if the worms exist, then the treasure exists. <laughs> uh, this is a complete and utter farce. This is my life's work, pal. Philip. Then you're a farce. Philip. <laughs> you know what? I know you guys are irate. I know that. And you have a right to be. But I will promise you this. I will get you to Sepulchre. How can you even come close to promising that? Because I'm very good at what I do, lady. I may not be a good tour guide, but I'm a damn good scoundrel. What? It's not the first time I've been tied up out here. Obviously. Let's just get these ropes off. He's got a knife. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. What you want to do is you want to stay on the road that we were on, southeast. It's going to take you directly to Sepulchre. What about you? I'm going to be fine. Just don't worry about me. Ah. Well, that'll be easy. I want you to listen to me. I didn't get you out of here yet, all right? No, no, don't get up. Is this where my call is? Yes, sir, but um, the phone lines went down and we're trying to get them back up. I hope it won't be too long. <clears throat> what a mess. Okay, stay here and wait for the signal. What signal? The really loud one? We good? Yet. I want to see this proof. Enough! Give me that. Damn it. Was that the really loud signal?
nothing. Forget it. We don't have time. Let's offload the medicine and get it in the pickup. <sighs> so, um, what about Daniel? What about him? What are you gonna, what are you gonna go back and get him? Are you kidding? Look, he's lived out here for who knows how long. He's gonna be fine. He saved our lives, Philip. Come on, what happened back what there? What happened out there was his own doing. Look, we've got people depending on us, all right? And it's our job to concentrate on them. I mean, last I can recall, that's why we're here. Let's not forget that. You're right. Yes, I am. Good, great. Let's move on to Sepagal, and once we get there safely, then we'll alert the authorities. I mean, okay? It's not too late. It's the best we can do. Where the hell is everybody? They should have been here hours ago. I already told you. The men are a bunch of cowards. Yes. Great. Look, I've been up all night. I've been trying to get you guys on the phone, so I'm exhausted. Let me just say this. Here's what I know for sure. We have to shut down. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Is anything in this place? Are you there? Okay. Before I lose you again, let me say this. I need to send somebody down here to reassess the survey because everything has changed. And I mean geological, structural. I need a, I need a team down here ASAP. Sir, you just lost your connection. Manus, what are you doing? Just, just shut up, okay? Just shut up, you Eric, you jackass. Just shut up! the worst. The phones don't work and we are out of supplies. How bad is it? The last 24 hours have been the worst. It's hit the entire village now. Well, we brought supplies. It's not everything, but it's all we could carry. All you could carry? What happened to you guys? Don't even ask. Come on. Oh my god. We lost two more yesterday. We're doing the best we can. We're also running out of distilled water. Well, what we have isn't going to be enough. We need to start stabilizing the really ill first. Kelly, I need you to find the water supply. Start boiling up water as much as you can carry. All right, I'm on it. How did it get so bad so fast? That's why. What does that mean? What is she saying? Some crazy talk about worms contaminating the water supply. Did you say worms? I didn't. She did. What? Man, it's... Shut up. Uh, All right? Manus. Just shut up. You are not gonna tie me. Just shut up! Just sit there, shut up! This plan of yours is unraveling by the second. I'm tired of waiting on you guys. If they don't show up, we're going to plan B. What's plan B? I don't know yet. What are you gonna do with him? Just get a hold of your guys. Go, get a hold of your guys! They 
Station 103 is Timmer. Come in. Can you hear me over? What's wrong with this damn thing? I need five. Can you help out in there? Sure. Hey, Steph? Yeah? It was good work. I know it was hard for you here. Daniel, glad to see you're still alive. Mm. Yeah. Uh... Glad you made it, too. Why'd you come? Just wanted to make sure you arrived safely. You know, both of you, actually. You know, the fella as well. Genuine concern. How appealing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm not really sure what happened back there. I don't know how many accountsmen survived, but if they did, they're going to be coming for us with everything they have. We can't worry about that. These people here need us. We got a big crisis on our hands. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bigger crisis than you think. What do you mean? This is not good. We need to get these people more help, more than what we have here. More help is good. Who are you? My name is Daniel. Look, we don't have a lot of time here. We need to get these people out of here as quickly as is possible. Yes, especially the really sick ones. Go on, tell them what you told me. There's an oil plant up the road. They have phone, uh, maybe truck. They, they can get us out of here. Yeah, I know the plan. All right, I should go there and try to round up some help. This may be our last shot, a long one at that. OK, I'm coming with you. Don't you think you'd be better served here? All the supplies are here. They're good doctors. There's only so much we can do till we get everyone out of here. I'd like to expedite that if I can. Uh, can I talk to you a minute? <clears throat> you don't trust me, do you? Nope. Sorry. And me coming all the way back here, that doesn't change it. Self-preservation. Lady, I could have gone anywhere. But you came to the closest town. Nice. Good to know that no good deed goes unpunished with you. I remember that. Look, I'm coming with you. I just need to make sure it's done right. And here I thought you'd be happy to get rid of me. Oh, I will be. Believe me. Just as soon as I know that helps on the way. <laughs> of course well. Yeah. Well, it's your choice. Get your stuff. I'll meet you out front. Okay, listen up, people. Stay tight, hunker down, I'll be back with reinforcements. We still need to get water to distill. Yeah, okay, do whatever you gotta do. But get back in here and shut up. Just trust me on that. Patrick. Patrick, when I get through with you, I make one call. One. Shut up. Oh. Shut 
Oh! Okay, listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it's gone this far. I really am, but you have no idea what you walked into. You know, I'd like to trust you. I really would. We could have been partners. <laughs> Mr. Rush, you don't, know, you don't even like me. Mr. Manus. The hell with you. This is getting out of control. Uh, you know, apparently, we don't have a choice. Well, have you talked to him? No. Something's wrong. I can't get a hold of anybody. What? Oh, God. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna move this stuff ourselves, all right? We'll just move this stuff ourselves? I don't like our chances. We'll never make it out of the area, let alone cross any borders. We're running out of time. We'll move this stuff ourselves. What about the oil shipment? Couldn't we slip it in with the regular delivery? Yeah, it's at the shipping warehouse. When it gets to the States, we'll just... Wait! We'll change the manifest. Move the crates for, to the warehouse one at a time if we have to. Uh, we'll just figure it out on the other end, and we'll move the stuff ourselves. Mr. Manis. Oh! oh. Man, sorry, sir. Sir, you called for me. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. I need you to hold down the fort while we're gone, okay? Of course. Oh. Hey, why are you still here while everybody else is gone? Money. That's what I worry about, Mr. Madness. There's cholera in my village, Sepakal. The money I make here will help ease that pain and suffering. That answer is gonna help that ease. Okay, come with us, okay? Hey, you know how to use a gun? Done fast. Stay in the car. Is that one of them? It's a part of one anyway. Nasty, isn't it? How is this possible? I mean, how, how is it possible that no one in the world knows these things exist, yet they're running rampant all over the country? Look at it this way. I've been out here six years. I've seen exactly two of these guys. Yeah, but you got a whole gizmo concocted to detect it. Well, they emit a charge that disrupts an EM field. I wasn't sure if it actually worked until this week, though. Now I know that it does. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Don't touch that thing, it's toxic. Can you get me my bag, please? <sighs> yeah. You know, these worms, once you see one, you have to believe the myth. And if you do, you'll know that that guy's gonna take me to exactly what I'm looking for. You mean to Khan's tomb? That's exactly right. Rapid decomposition. Acidic base. Larvae structure. Okay, what, 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 what's that? What's that mean? I don't know. I don't know yet. 
just want to figure out what these things are. Since they live mostly underground, I want to see if these nasty, toxic creatures might actually have something to do with the outbreak in Sepagal. You know, it's funny. The outbreak shows, shows all the signs of cholera, but all, all the affecting markers are all, all completely different, which is why it's so complicated to us. What is that? It's part of a relic. Souvenir. going under. Come on. Pretty slow day at the factory, huh? Place looks deserted. That's because it probably is. What was that? That was an earthquake. It looks like Callan was right. Why would someone build a plant like this on a fault line? Well, they didn't. I can tell you that much. There's no fault line here. Well, something's wrong. You think they evacuated? Well, we're about to find out. Hello! Whoa! Easy, buddy. Easy, Who easy. Are you? My name is Daniel. It's nice to meet you. Easy, easy. I'm a doctor. We're just looking for a phone. It's really important. No, no. The phones do not work. Come on, buddy. You gotta have a better excuse than that. Obviously, the phone is working in a building like this. I have my orders. What kind of orders do you have? Look, I'm sure that whoever gave you your orders would understand that an entire village has fallen ill. We need emergency help. Sepako. You speak of Sepako. That's right. Have you come here to help my people? Are you from Sepako? Hey, listen, buddy. Maybe you don't understand the lengths to which this woman has gone to help your people. And now all she wants to do is borrow a phone to call more doctors to help your people even more than she's already helped you. Whoa, right out! Inside! Everybody, now! Everybody inside! Okay. We're gonna need as much water as possible. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What, what, what does that mean? It's fine, just relax. We're up. I thought I had something, we're okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm just having a hard time wrapping my head around this. They're right, they're all right. Who, what, what, what are you talking about? The workers, they left, they, they were scared. I didn't believe them, we're cursed, we're well, cursed. Relax, relax. We don't need you having a heart attack right now, okay? Just stay focused. Worms aren't gonna kill anybody, I don't care how big they are. We need a telephone right now. That's it, just a telephone. It's this way. Okay? Yeah, come on. Let's go, come on. I can't get a solid tone. I told you, phones aren't working. So you weren't lying, huh? No. Well, I'll tell you one thing. These worms put off a hell of a charge, so maybe they're messing with the lines. Or maybe the tremor's down the wires. What's going on down here? What kind of plan is this? Oh, it's a experimental drilling plant now. Original closed a few years ago. I wanted to start digging then, but that wasn't gonna happen. Some pork barrel government fund bought it for some kind of testing, isn't that right? Yeah, oil from shale. How's it done? What's the process? What, you looking to change occupations? No, I think I might have an idea of what's going on down here. Tell me. Very hot water is pumped into shale down below. Must be it. What must be it? What, 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 what did I miss? How deep does the water go? Does it cut through the permafrost? Yeah, it goes all the way down. I think the hot water might be releasing these annelids from a state of stasis. And that specimen that we found was rapidly decomposed. Excuse me? It's called cryptobiosis. It's a fairly common biological phenomenon. Brine shrimp, perfect example. They're in a state of suspended animation, and then when they're introduced to salt and water, they come back to life. 
I mean, it would explain why no one has seen these worms for years on end. And this drilling, it has to be responsible for why there's so many worms now. See that? That makes a lot of sense to me. And if what she's saying is true, this facility should be shut down. Until you guys know exactly what the hell is going on here, it should be shut down. I can't do that. Well, if you can't, who can? I'm not here. Okay, let me tell you something, okay? Either LBK spent millions and millions of dollars building this facility on shaky ground, or hundreds, maybe thousands of these worms are burrowing up through the foundation. Either way, I, this facility needs to be shut down. I can't do- Okay, shh, don't tell me you can't. This is something that has to be done. I don't it's know what you to do. <laughs> yes, thank you. No offense, no hard feeling, okay? Now, tell me this. If we shut the plant down, what happens to the worms? There's no way of telling. Okay, guess. I, 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 I need you to give me something here. You're the science person. Just Okay, I would imagine the worms that are already alive would continue to live out their life cycle, which, as far as I can tell, would be a few days, perhaps a week, and then they would die off. I would also imagine that shutting down the plant would prevent any more from being hatched. Fine. Okay. Perfect. You've done a stellar job up until now. But right now, see this? I got the gun, which makes me the boss. Shut the plant down. Twist the knob, push a button. Use the red button, looks pretty I'm not good. authorized! I'm authorizing you. No, I'm just a mechanic. I don't... Let me tell you something, all right? If you're lying to me, I will prohibit her from helping any one of your friends or your family. You understand me? I would never do that. Ah! Hi, I know how to do it for emergencies. Perfect! How do we do it? Manually, though. Manual's fine, I like manual. Let's do it manually. How? We gotta go down. Down's good. I'm good with down. You okay? Let's go down. Stay here. Try the phone. Last one. Machinery, storage. Things to be shipped out soon. All right, let's move out. Dwan! Dwan! What happened? Dwan! What's going on? I, I don't know. She was just she was there one minute, and then and then she wasn't. <laughs> that one. Okay, Daniel, listen to me very carefully. These two must be done simultaneously, starting left, right. on three. One, two, three, go! No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What? Sorry, sorry, sorry. These two must be done counterclockwise. If you go clockwise, it'll overload the system and everything will just, will go Yeah, 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 I, I get it, boom, not good. How do we do this? On three, ready. One, two, 
three, go! I'll start on the last one. Yeah, let's go, let's go. What was that? What? There's somebody else here. Let's go. What are you... What are you doing? I'm sorry. You so... Where are you going? Hey! Exactly. They're shutting the plant down! Son of a... We gotta go! We gotta go! They're here! We gotta go! Wait, 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 wait! We gotta go! We gotta go! They're here! They're here! Did you shut down the plant? They're here! Did you shut down the plant? I'm sorry, but we gotta go! <laughs> okay, come on. Just, it'll just take two crates this time. It's gonna take all night. Hello, this is Dr. Alicia Brewer. I'm with Doctors of Hope. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Hello, this Officer Timmer. What's wrong, ma'am? Can you can you hear me? Well, I I, I can't make out what you say. Hello. Hello. Can can you hear me? Talk slowly. I, I can't I can't hear what you're saying. Hello. Sepago. Please tell me you can hear me. Hang up the fall! What do you think you're doing? What? It's okay, I'm a doctor. My name I didn't ask you your name! I asked you, what do you think you are doing?
Is everyone okay? No, no, we need help, all right? I took care of the ones that I saw. Where's Daniel? They, they, they went to get help. I got a call from them, Alicia, to send help here. So help is coming. I hope your help gets here soon. Excuse me! Put your gun down, please. Put your gun down! Are you all right? Alicia, are you all right? I'm okay. I've been better. Actually, no, she's not okay. And you're not either, so put your gun down! It's going down, buddy. Relax. It's going down. Step away. There, look, it, it's down. It's on the ground. Now, can I help you find something? <laughs> Looks like you already found it, buddy, right? Well, I'm glad I could help you. So when did you find the tomb? During renovations, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, the old plant's been sitting on a fortune for five decades, so... Okay, all right, let's just... Let's just be calm here. So where is it? Where's what? Come on, don't be stupid. You know what I'm talking about. It's been a good chunk of my life searching for it. Even risked it occasionally. Kind of like right now? So what, what, uh, what happened to your buddy that was sitting in the chair over there? Right over there. Was that your buddy? What happened to him? What are you talking about? from here. Drop your gun. Drop your gun or he kills her. Yeah, I don't think so. What is that? <laughs> I'm a better shot. Any sign of those worms? Nope. But I'll tell you what I do see. Uh, what's that? Your help. Oh, thank God. <laughs> um, uh, where are you going? My job is never done. He took the gun. Don't, 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 don't do it! See, come on! Don't, 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 don't pick! I'll do it again!
Lucy's nest. She's guarding the tomb, and it's been taken from her. We can't just shut this place down. We gotta blow it out of here. Hello? What the hell is going on here? Guess you found what you were looking for. I'll tell you this. I didn't waste six years of my life looking for an empty tomb. It's too bad someone found it first. That's impossible. I would have known. Whoa, 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 whoa. Daniel, we gotta get out of here. Daniel, let's go! Just trust me. Daniel! Now let's go. No. No, you don't understand. This, 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 this is my life. Well, guess what? It's my life too, and I don't want to die down here. <sighs> let's go. Let's go with me. Just relax, all right? I'm talking about blowing the place up. With the treasure? With the treasure in it. More importantly, the worm. The queen, the nest. I don't think so! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just, just, just relax here, buddy. No one's gonna blow up anything. Don't do anything stupid. No, no, no! I'm getting out of my way! I'm gonna take the crate! Drop the gun. Drop it now. The hell I will. Don't be an idiot, Manus. I will shoot you. We gotta move quick, Timmer. You know that, right? It's gotta be quick. It's mine. Okay? It's not yours! It's not yours! It's mine! It's not mine! Actually, buddy, I, I, I think it's hers. Come on. Buddy, let's go! Okay. This is it, Temer guard the hallway. Alicia, take that valve. On the count of three, I want you to turn it clockwise. Got it. Look at me, clockwise. Got it. No, seriously, clockwise, because the first time I screwed it. One, two, three. What are you doing, Daniel? Sending this place back where it belongs. You sure it's gonna work? No, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed, buddy. All right, one more. All right. I think we're ready to move it. Let's get out of here. You okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Wait, let's go. Come on.
Call out after all, huh? I underestimated you. You're uh, not a scoundrel after all. I'm definitely a scoundrel. I'm just a good scoundrel. <laughs> Let's get everybody out of here. You know, I uh, I got my own rescue I gotta do. Besides, looks like you're in pretty good hands here. Um, okay. Well, thank you. For everything. Yeah, sure thing. You know, I gotta pick up a lot of pieces back there. Some of those pieces are yours, you know? It's not really my thing. Nah, of course not. Donation to Doctors of Hope. <laughs> now you got yourself a deal. An anonymous donation, I suppose. Of course. The uh, ride was free. <laughs> Thanks. See you around. <laughs> I hope so. 